Uh, but today our topic is um, alternative dispute resolution. Yeah. And we wanted to look at it um, not so much from the perspective as, a, as an actual alternative to the traditional court system, yeah. as it has been in the past, but uh, we want to look at how uh, courts have been using uh, themselves have been using a, uh, in their normal uh, operations um, yeah, as an alternative to actually going through their typical system. Well, are, are we talking about court ethics ADR or judges actually doing what they haven't been trained to do? Both. Both, yes. Um, yeah, yeah. We'd, um, I'd like to talk first, um, just briefly. Uh, we'll uh, hash out um, kind of how ADR uh, came about and um, and yeah, yeah, the, its uses in the past and the ADR mechanisms uh, that were wholly separate from the courts previously. And um, after that brief discussion, we'll uh, move on to uh, what's happening now in courts. Um, how they're using uh, ADR to uh, dissolve, uh, resolve disputes uh, before they um, before it uh, can reach a traditional litigation, and then um, yeah, and then at the end, um, as always, we'll talk about uh, the future of ADR within our courts, uh, whether or not uh, we think that uh, this uh, well this presumed uh, trend of the slow progression of ADR infiltrating courts. Uh, will continue or whether it will regress and whether or not either, either of those are a good thing, a bad thing, or what mechanisms uh, would be best to uh, incorporate to, move, uh, to make courts more efficient and usable and accessible and work for everybody. Um, yeah, I guess uh, in the past, um, courts uh, yeah, had um, really relegated that, uh, or alternative uh, dispute resolutions to uh, to the private sector, um, reserving you know their, their traditional mechanisms for the courts themselves. Um, would anybody like to uh, comment on the past of ADR? Well, I said that they yeah. less they kind of delegated them and more divorced themselves from it entirely. Yeah, but that's not the solving disputes at all. Mm -hmm. They kind of try to claim all disputes as theirs. Well, that depends on which course, uh, yeah. courts and when you're talking about. I mean, two of the biggest proponents of ADR in Latin America are judges. Mm -hmm. are? are? Judges. Judge. Helen Hyten, mm -hmm. who's a Supreme mm -hmm. Court Justice, mm -hmm. and Gladys Alvarez, who I think is retired, but was on the Federal Appeals Court. And they both promoted it, and Argentina now has free ADR, not compulsory, uh, before civil disputes, at least at the federal level. It's not compulsory? No, it's not. And it's generally regarded by most ADR people that it should not be. Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, if people don't want to do it, you're just putting one more rock in the factory. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's free. And it's provided by the Ministry of Justice. I mean, you can also pay for it if you want, but, there's the, but there are free services. And they claim that, uh, I mean, it's hard to tell whether you're getting cases away from the courts or whether you're getting cases that wouldn't have gone to court but would go to ADR because it's free. <laughs> or I'd imagine you also perhaps get some that go to ADR and then get up in court, but perhaps, yeah. perhaps they're quicker in court yeah. because they need to yeah. ADR, you yeah. never know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't, very you difficult don't know. To but anyway, so I think the idea that judges didn't want it in the beginning, it just started somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not that judges said, bad idea. It's that, that other people were doing it. Oh, okay. And, good, and good in the U.S., a lot of them are volunteers, as you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not it's it's not like the guy from last week for profit. Um, and a lot of them are not lawyers, but they're trained uh, in in ADR and they and they do it on a volunteer basis. So now, of course, if you want to talk about settlement as ADR, mm -hmm. U.S. judges have always promoted. And uh, there's a concern in the U.S. and also if you listen to Hazel Den about uh, too much settlement, both in the U.S. and in England, because the shadow of the law doesn't work if no cases ever go to court. Yeah. And, and we're down to such a low level that in the U.S. they talk about the disappearance of the trial. The disappearance of the trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and Gen's also quite worried about that, that tendency for judges to shove it into settlement. Have you uh, noticed um, a similar thing in uh, Dutch courts? Yeah, uh, yeah, the, the sure. Push yeah, for right. the, the first question I asked 
kan wel merken dat als we hebben een bepaald verloop gebouwd uh, multi-door houses in Amerika. Ja. Yeah. Dus het yeah. concept still exists. Which, which kind of door houses? Multi-door courthouse. Ah. Yeah. I don't know to what extent. I mean, no. I know judges who promote it. Nan Shooker, who was in D.C., has not only promoted it there, but taken it to Africa. Yeah. It's a, it's a <laughs> good idea. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, in, in Holland, we have um, well, a long history of uh, an, uh, settlement by the judge. Yeah. But by the judge. By the judge, yes. Because in the U.S., no of course, there's no ADR uh, yeah, 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 okay. approach. Uh, and uh, uh, certainly the last 10 years it has uh, grown. Yeah. Because in um, uh, 2002, we had a, a change of law that uh, the uh, the well, the woman in the, the no, well, sitting with the people in the court yeah. uh, is uh, uh, the standard. Uh, yeah. And so the judge has more contact with the parties and tries to settle it. Okay. Well, and does he act more as a mediator in this, or uh, is he before, kind of no, it's, down the settlement? No, or? it's yeah, no, it's um, it's not um, in the past. It is not a mediator at all. It is a, ju a judge who tries to um, uh, mark, um, uh, no, Martin uh, Nelson uh, to try to settle a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, the last uh, ten years, we have introduced um, also the. Um, uh, well, mediation, uh, the referral to mediation, and then the judges are trained to recognize when it is uh, a good um, a case to, to propose to the uh, uh, parties, maybe is mediation something for you, and then they can refer, not uh, uh, freely, and not uh, uh, compulsory. And then the judges are trained and trained to, to ask the good questions, to do the good diagnosis, to do the good assessment, to refer or not to refer. <coughs> And then they, 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 uh, they have become better settlement judges, uh, and that is a little bit near mediation. It comes closer how, to mediation. Yeah, but how does settlement work here? Because in the U.S., all that happens, it's almost a joke. The judge will say to the parties, you want to settle, aren't you? Yeah. And then they go off. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, uh, and, and often, you know, there's sort of a, a, a sense on both parts that if we don't settle, the judge is going to be yeah, this is punitive. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this also yeah. the the danger. Uh, the thing yeah. in Holland uh, that that they are also to compel. I think to compel. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, and now, uh, well, we had a good um, uh, a good referral system in uh, in the Netherlands, but that was a few years because it had a lot of attention. Um, and now um, it is uh, yeah a structural uh, provision in the. Uh, Judiciary and it has no attention anyway uh, anymore, and then it is um, uh, yeah, less uh, referrals to mediation, more yeah. settlements, less referral. And that's I think that's the biggie. Yeah. Uh, but the settlement actually occurs with the judge. Yeah. 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 But not. I mean, you understand a mediator as someone who would suggest things. No. 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 Or it's a, would, uh, It's yeah. a, 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 a no. Uh, yeah, it's not very it, it is a little, yeah, it's not it's not only transformation mediation. Yeah. It's it is it is a little bit um, depending the mediator. Yeah. But it is uh, it's it's not an, uh, an uh, someone who uh, who who advises or do suggestions yeah, okay. or uh, uh, do decisions. Yeah. That's that's what we think about mediation. Yeah. That is the parties who yeah decide. Parts okay. who take their uh, decision. I always get confused as the difference between mediation and conciliation because it's yeah, it's but I border, guess yeah. yeah, mediation is where he gets them to talk to each other, but they have to come up with a suggestion. Yeah, conciliation well, in divorce, is where yes, well, in where divorce the, mediations, yeah. it's near evaluated oh, mediation yeah, because okay. it's almost it is uh, lawyers who do the mediation. Yeah. Uh, well, and 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 at the end there has been uh, there must be an agreement, a divorce yeah. agreement. Yeah. Yeah, and then, well, then I think the the lawyer also do the suggestions uh, suggestions at the end. Because how would he get his fee? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Is that um, when you say the lawyers do the mediation? Is that each party's lawyer? Um, 
Uh, Axonet, or, or there's a single um, lawyer for No, we have in Holland, we have um, the di divorce lawyers who have been specialized in uh, divorce uh, and also in mediation. Mm -hmm. So they, they do the, the combination. Uh, they are lawyers and they have all done the, the, uh, the, uh, the mediation course. Okay. So they act as well as mediators. That was the one who was uh, last week. Yeah, yeah, who yeah I had a feeling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the mediation online. It yeah. was an example of an, a specialist, divorce specialist, who was yeah. also a mediator as well as lawyer. But that means the parties might not have their own lawyers. They use one lawyer who is the mediator. Yeah, if it is, or if it is really a mediation. But uh, yeah. the, the, the same specialists do also act as a collaborative lawyers. Uh, yeah. They do yeah. then, uh, yeah, then as each party. But also that each party has his lawyer and also goes to a mediator. And then they have three, three uh, persons to pay. And what, what I... Uh, what, what I uh, we have also wonderful um, psychologist mediators in Holland, and I think we don't have to forget them because yeah. for a really divorce problem or other problems, but uh, there are relation problems, emotional problems, or uh, uh, interpersonal um, problems, and then the, the psychologist or yeah other um, kind of the people. Uh, are act as good mediators, but then if, if they, they can do the part, the, uh, the emotional part, and then if a divorce has to be uh, arranged uh, uh, with all the, yeah, the, the financial and, and, yeah. and, and custody uh, things, then you have to, to, uh, inter uh, yeah, to, uh, to, to take a lawyer as well to, to do the, uh, that part of the, uh, yeah. You okay, have to, or it's advisable that you do. It's advisable. Yeah, well, you don't. Have, yeah, you have to do if you are going to court because yeah. uh, uh, a divorce in Holland is still obliged uh, to do with a lawyer. It looks as though you can't without a lawyer. lawyer. It looks well, as though you can't go to court in Holland without a lawyer, you, except for very small cases. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Now, would um, the uh, the psychological uh, mediation would, yeah. would that be something that a, co a court, uh, but like uh, before it goes into the actual the courtroom? Um, uh, Divorce. Well, is that something they would compel the parties to do? Or no, not compel. Uh, uh, because uh, not compel, but uh, well, the, uh, we think the, the, the authority of the judge uh, is com compulsory uh, enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if he suggests, uh, well, uh, that the, well, the parties will, uh, yeah, a admit that, uh, that they yeah. will go to the to the mediator. But if you are really uh, yeah, stubborn and don't think that it has any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah the, the mediation will not uh, <coughs> succeed. Yeah. Well, the, well um, you will. Uh, yeah. If, if they you will prove that it is not uh, good for your case that, that you can't yeah. communicate with the other, and that is not your fault. Yeah. And that's, and if, especially when there is a little bit, uh, the, you are. Yeah. Uh, I, I look the word your psychology uh, mad, or do you, you have an? Uh, how do you do? We call you. Disturbed. Disturbed, yeah. yeah. Disturbed. That's a nice yeah. word. I, I don't know. The, that's just a, yeah. Well, we could say mad as a hatter or insane, yeah. but I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. These are a little concerned. Yeah. Yeah. What, um, what, what uh, in Israeli courts, are, are there, uh, is there a lot of use of uh, ADR mechanisms these days? Are you I'm aware? not really up to date on what's going on, but there's, I would say, about 10 years ago, maybe a bit longer, it was uh, more or less of the peak of mediation, and it yeah. was a very trendy, very popular. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it has actually went a bit down. And I'm, I don't think that there is at the moment much of the court annexed ADR. I don't yeah. think that it uh, works like that. No? No, but I don't think so. But, but can it can be that the judges has uh, um, evaluated in more uh, doing the, the ADR mechanisms themselves? themselves or? The in the, maybe in a very informal way. Yeah. I don't think that they are trained yeah. for that, if we go yeah. into the issue of training. But maybe sometimes they will try to push yeah. for that, or sometimes a bit more in the American way, trying to push for that just by yeah, saying. I, mean, I think it's, 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 it's regarded as very dangerous that a judge do this, because yeah. the problem is, well, I mean, I've, I've actually been party to ADR that was done by my boss, which you never want. Oh, the, woman, the woman claimed she was trained in ADR, and obviously wasn't. But in addition, uh, someone I know in, in El Salvador, my driver, said that he'd done, the judge had done mediation for his divorce, and he said, 
I didn't like it. I didn't agree, but but I mean, I didn't like it, but I had to agree. And I said, why? And he said, well, because the, the turnaround and the judge would punish me. Okay. So, I mean, I know courts where where judges do ADR. I was surprised yeah. that in Singapore they, or in Malaysia they did it all the time. But sometimes if judges are going to do it, it's not the judge that will judge the case. No. So I think yeah, that's a good thing. Actually. That's yeah. important, yeah. yeah. And that's uh, especially when when the judges in Holland settle and settle more. Then I think we we have to take uh, pay attention that we yeah. maybe do the same thing. That if yeah. it not settles, then another judge uh, yeah. will take over it. Yeah, I, I think I think that's I think the best way. Uh, yeah, you, because people are not dumb. They know that if the judge yeah. wants them to settle and they yeah, don't, yeah. yeah, that they will that that the, the judge may turn around and yeah. punish them. Of course, the same thing happens with people who don't settle. In the so that's the So this was exactly reminds me of um, a procedure that I saw in uh, Costa Rica earlier this year. I told you about that one already. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very much a case in point for what we're talking about here now. Um, it was a specialized procedure in a family court for alimony cases. Yeah. Only for that, very, very alimony. specific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an innovation that they were extremely proud of. It was implemented just Pilot yeah. did this was the first court where they tried it, but it's considered to have been a huge success, so it is now being uh, implemented across the country. Mm. And uh, basically, it involved a few things that were very new, yeah. and some of them not directly relevant to what we are talking about, such as the fact that uh, it's completely uh, paperless. So it's th there are no physical files anymore, it's yeah. just about oh, you start face. online. Face to face or online? You start okay, online, online yeah. and later it goes into face to face, yeah, okay. but there are no physical files, nothing like yeah, that. Well, that's yeah. a Latin American madness. Yeah. Every, mean, uh, every judge I know says, you think you're going to get rid of paper? You're crazy. What do you but, mean by yeah, but the Latin American, yeah. So, well, basically the way yeah. it starts is that a party would start, yeah. would yeah. have to go online yeah. for... It starts uh, as a mediation well, online, file, yeah, online, yeah, online file. file. The, yeah. Is, yeah, no, no the mediation is no. not online, the online is just the, 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 the initiation yeah. of the case. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but this is, it's a small thing, but it's yeah. something that I really like, that yeah. even just setting the date for the first hearing yeah. is for the parties, not for the court. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like that the court just tells them, okay, you are summoned to arrive in this yeah. date, yeah. but instead the first party uh, needs to choose a few possible dates that the court says yeah. are yeah. free, okay. yeah. and then the other party needs yeah. to look at that. You know, it's already it it it, it seems yeah. that this already puts them in, a bit in the yeah. mindset of let's talk together, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a which good is thing. nice. It's a small yeah. thing, but this is but this what we want. Yeah. The, what I want that we do uh, in now the Dutch uh, reform we do now. Uh, the, right. what, what I talked about the first thing uh, we do now. A big reform from the Dutch judiciary. Yeah, yeah. We want to uh, do a judiciary online. Right. Then we look for the, the same start. Yeah, and yeah. I think yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. also it, it really puts people in a bit of a different mindset because yeah. they also don't get uh, like, oh, I have to cancel this and this. And yeah. Yeah. Which really, you know, they, they, yeah. they are they've chosen when to appear yeah. before each other. And, and do you know you have the it's first? Boring, yeah. Yeah. And what's your first hearing? Well, because in a, in Holland we think about one hearing where happens everything. And I, I suggest we do one assessment hearing before. Right, so the way that they do that in this procedure, it's, uh, yeah. um, the whole procedure is yeah. meant to encourage a settling in yeah. these cases. Yeah. So the judge is actually called a judge conciliator, yeah. that's the title of the mm. judge. But they are actually trained for that, so yeah. they, they would not put anybody in this position before they get trained in yeah. the uh, conciliation aspect of this. Yeah. And then there are, um, in principle, I think there could be three points at the uh, process where yeah. uh, the, the judge would really offer them some sort of, of uh, solution. So yeah. to begin with, it starts at the very first hearing. Sure. So they yeah. come, uh, they tell their stories, the judge yeah. already knows something about yeah. this because they get information online, yeah. and right then in the first uh, uh, hearing, and it's an important thing that it's before any sort of evidence test. The, uh, Judge conciliator is trying to offer some sort of solution. Yeah. Only if they uh, refuse or completely disagree, unable to do yeah. that, then you, they set another hearing, uh, which would be the evidence hearing. Yeah. And that's where they need to really submit documentation and evidence to whatever. So there is there. documentation, it's just not papers. Uh, yeah. But it just, it's just uh, true, true, true. Yeah, but yeah, it's not yeah. papers, it's really paper. Yeah. Like I saw yeah. that actually visited yeah. the court, so I saw that there is like, it's really nice, you know, in the sense that yeah. the judge that uh, was showing me around, she showed me physically showed me her uh, table and she said, yeah. yeah, until a few months ago, this would have those piles like you always yeah. see in movies and now it's just clean and she goes home and she's with a smile and she thinks, okay, maybe I have two cases backlog, but 
not only CD, but really, really impressive. She just really got her system. computer archives filled with AP PDFs, but that's no. not No, but it's not, yeah, it's not nice, because you're, you're somehow talking down at this, which is really not the case. No, it was yeah. really effective, really helping, and really yeah, working. And we yeah. so, yeah. yeah. the, And this yeah. was just one aspect, yeah. you know, yeah. the E doing the court yeah. rather than physical, but that was just yeah. one aspect yeah. of the whole thing. Yeah. Now, uh, and on the surf? it's true that yeah. it, uh, uh, it could get to evidence, whatever, but uh, that's, that's an important uh, thing to say, that it could get there. Yeah. Uh, the numbers that she told me, and of course I had no way to verify those things, yeah. I was just counting on what I was being told there as like official numbers, is that 80 something percent of the cases are solved right there. So up to the very first hearing, yeah. before any yeah, evidence, yeah. This and in a second. Uh, and this yeah. is amazing, yeah. you know, this, that yeah. it's like that. Yeah. So I only a very I, 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 yeah. small percentage yeah. of cases actually go into evidence. Mm -hmm. And then after evidence, she, the judge would once again try to uh, reconcile based yeah. on the evidence. Yeah. And only when this doesn't work, then they would go for, okay, I'm going for a decision. Right. Yeah. And I think that even then, like as uh, the, the, the procedure basically imposes on the judge, the judge that as the very last action, before pronouncing a decision, yeah. they have to try one last time. Like, mm -hmm. ask them one last time, do you want still to reconcile mm -hmm. before I decide yeah. the case? Yeah. So basically three times in the procedure. And the judge, the conciliation judge, when the, does he stop uh, after the first hearing? Then um, there's another judge or? No, so that's the amazing thing, and that's yeah. why I was reminded of this now, yeah. is that if the same person, yeah. And I try to ask them like, is that, yeah, I, I don't know, it, this is really like a draw role that the same judge has to be during this initial phase, a rec okay. uh, conciliator, and then suddenly can switch to yeah, being I a mean, judge. I, I, that part it's I a bit like. weird. Yeah. Not me yeah. either. Yeah. And yeah. not only it, it, it's a great challenge for the judge, I would think that it's a great challenge for the party. And yeah. to be neutral, to speak. Yeah, like yeah. to be able you yeah. know, to open and this and that, yeah. while at the back of their mind they also know yeah. that it's weird, because they've got the such a fixation in criminal procedures and in normal civil procedures that the same judge can't make preliminary yeah. decisions yeah. and yeah. make the final decision. And then they yeah. turn around yeah. Yeah, do this. exactly. And, and I try to make the point, yeah. and I try to ask yeah. about that, and they seem yeah. to just be yeah. not too bothered. But you know, it's it's yeah. true. It's it's the same that we yeah. are being yeah. we are trained, and I was trying to make yeah. it a bit difficult. Yeah. Yeah. We are trained for that. We can. We don't have biases, right? Yeah. 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 No, yeah. I agree too. Yeah. 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 And, and and could it help if the first hearing is by a court officer who is trained as a mediator or a, a, with? A, yeah. It would make sense to me, you know, if it's yeah. true that we such a huge uh, percentage you can get rid of yeah. already yeah. at this stage and what cases, you need is a yeah. good reconciliator, yeah. not yeah. the judge. Yeah. Yeah. would make sense to me. But yeah. A final uh, piece of uh, uh, figure for, from that yeah. discussion, uh, most amazing like, in terms of the effectiveness of the procedure, uh, what they told me is that on average, the, the time that it takes now, from the point where yeah. somebody would initiate online yeah. and until this is decided, yeah. is 14 days or 13 days. Oh, yeah, this great. is unbelievable. Yeah. And this unbelievable. went down from yeah. above a year to oh, yeah, I, 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 14 I would days. like the Good. documents. Also, yeah. uh, I'm also interested uh, how, uh, how it looks the formula that you fill in uh, to start the procedure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a lot of... Yeah, I have uh, somewhere, I just don't know exactly yeah. where, but I can retrieve all of that. Yeah. We're in contact with We're them, and they're probably yeah. going to be... Uh, oh, we can get money, we can get divorce online from New York too, and you can do that. Mm. You can download the procedure. Oh, I, I received from the same, yeah, same, yeah. 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 I yeah. don't know what happens yeah. in New York, whether they, yeah. you know, how long yeah. it takes, or, or, or what the hearing thing is, yeah. but all the paperwork you can do online. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and, they, and you, can, you can download it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Just pretend you're going to do a divorce and go in there, and apparently, because yeah. there's a one set of documents for, I forgot what it was, a con un uncontested divorce, yeah. and I think a contested one. So, yeah. so there are whole sets of documents. Yeah. And they tell you, you ought to have a lawyer, but you don't need that. No, no, I, I But they agree. recommend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is another point, by the way, yeah. because almost in, the, the, uh, in all cases in this procedure, it's a uh, lawyerless. That's lawyerless? what they're trying to do. Really yeah. lawyerless? Yeah, just more. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, the, the, the yeah. guild has yeah. That's an excellent yeah, the guild. Yeah, yeah, that's an excellent one. Yeah, because in, in yeah. Holland, I would like to reach that too, that we don't need the lawyers. Yeah. Now, you, uh, from the law, we don't need them. You uh, uh, yeah. until 25,000 of euro. You yeah. need, don't need okay. the euro a lawyer. But you, we it's have no, you, it is too difficult for us uh, in yeah. Holland to yeah. do it without a lawyer. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, the help. lawyers make sure it's too difficult. Uh, yeah. They don't want to lose yeah. it. When were you in Costa Rica? Um, when was that? Ma no, no January. Is, no. January. 
So you met Luis Paulino? I just found out he died. <coughs> and we don't have a chief justice. We are talking about judiciary and not about ADR. Justice, right? So this is uh, ADR now. I don't know. I think yeah. not because uh, we are talking about this Fernando Cruz. Yes. Who well, was yeah, yeah, kicked out of the court well, in November? Yeah, the court, yeah. 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 yeah, the ADR yeah. is already. Luis yeah. Paulino oh, yeah. 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 And then he's been put back on. And as of the end of May, they were talking about Fernando Cruz perhaps becoming the chief justice. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but I didn't know Luis Paulino died. I mean, it was it was in February. Right. He, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was All looking right, up something like, after there, it was gone. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move on a little bit. We, we talked a lot about um, did you need it? kind of mediation yeah. style um, ADR. Are there uh, other mechanisms, uh, maybe in the UK or anywhere that anybody knows of uh, that well, is being I'm, commonly I'm, used? Well, I'm sure there are online. One thing. Uh, yeah. Apart from online, but I, yeah. I don't know whether yeah. what kind of courts we're focusing on because it doesn't really apply very much to civil procedure, but certainly criminal procedure is restorative justice procedures, yeah. which are becoming more more popular. Certainly, are getting more incorporated into yeah. court proceedings yeah. on a much greater extent now, and that's becoming more prominent. But oh, yeah. we also have this dual existence outside of court. Do we, want to, put court in, yeah. do we want to put in plea bargaining? Do yeah. yes. courts like it? Do courts yeah. not like it? Nobody really knows. And uh, whatever that new thing is called here in the Netherlands, the penal that the sanction, where you've got transactions and now yeah. you've got the penal sanction, yeah, yeah. which also involves uh, personal things. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, the mediation of by the criminal concerns. Yeah, that's, 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 that's that's other places. Yeah, the, the, the judges in um, the Netherlands have started uh, to respire this with uh, mediation in criminal cases. Yeah. They, they, they want to... Uh, but it's the prosecutors largely, isn't it? Or no, yeah. it's... Uh, well, the prosecutors do... No, the, yeah. The, uh, this is... Yeah. The, the yeah. transactions and the penal sections. Yeah, yeah. Because it's the judges who refer in uh, criminal cases yeah. who are already uh, become yeah. before the judge that they refer to a mediator. Okay. Well, not uh, instead, and not as alternative, not, not alternatively. But they say... They, yeah. I think they should... They, uh, the idea is that they say, well... The people has to 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 resolve their problem as a mediator, and that is uh, not instead of the. But what about the case? Charge then? Yeah, yeah, maybe there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't. In, in Mexico, this exists yeah. as well. You remember yeah. we talked about uh, that as well, that Mexico is one of the only countries in the world where this seems to actually be working, and nobody knows exactly how, and it's it's a yeah. really weird concept when you think yeah. about that mm -hmm. mediation in the criminal context. Yeah. But, it, but it is only from, it is only from, actually El Salvador started it years ago, and the problem was that they said anything can be mediated. Well, that's and, and, really and not then, like that. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, no. and then the rape cases came up, and they just said, well, yeah. well maybe not. And Mexico has done it much more recently. It's only with minor crimes. Exactly. There was a problem about mediating uh, domestic violence, and right. I believe that is now illegal. But people were mediating right. it anyway. Uh, and it's not very so transparent. That's the problem. We you don't know what's being mediated. <laughs> when you say minor crimes, um, you're speaking like the equivalent of uh, misdemeanors? Yeah, misdemeanors. Lesser? Well, yeah. I mean, someone keying someone else's car, I don't yeah. know whether that's a misdemeanor yeah. or not, but that was yeah. one of the cases that someone brought up. It's often disputes between neighbors. Sometimes they're not actually crimes. I mean, people will complain, as I found them doing in Romania as well. They'll go to a prosecutor and register a complaint. It's not a crime, guy. Uh, but they would still try to... Yeah, I mean, if, if the complaint is there, they will try and mediate it. But it's also things like, well, misdemeanors. I don't know what you call the next stage up. But, uh, yeah. Well, misdemeanors. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's the problem. It's a felony. I think keying a car is probably a felony. You're doing some. It depends on the car. Ah, okay. Because <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> it's the I'm value probably. of property damage. Yeah, yeah, but it's, a lot of it has to do with property damage. Right. Um, and and you know, in one, where was it? Was it Mexico? Yeah, I, but it was in a, it was in a place that wasn't doing it that well. They also wanted to mediate things like cell phone thefts, and I objected to that strenuously. Uh, like just minor petty thefts? Yeah, yeah. but I'm not going to mediate with someone who stole my cell phone. What's the mediation? So, so yeah, mediation is between the victim and the uh, yeah, victim yeah, of yeah. So this is why I think the restorative justice is a bit weird, because it's not, it, it's not an ADR. It's not necessarily yeah. solving the problem. Yeah. It's kind of mitigating the effects of the problem, yeah. Yeah. or of the crime, or of the, the damage done. Yeah. And that's a kind of an interesting middle ground, because it's something that courts are not 
strictly isn't that interested in, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it is something that we are interested in. Society is certainly something that victims are incredibly interested in. And so it's kind of gotten into a lot, you know, we have like uh, statements, and sometimes, you know, this is uh, a big week in court, and you the offender, and, you know, yeah. uh, then you get actual meetings and things. But, and these are increasingly getting incorporated into um, actual court proceedings. Uh, and in Europe now, I think Belgium is particularly big on it at the moment, they're kind of pushing it. And, yeah. um, and so, it's, but they're not, like I say, they're not help solving the dispute. Yeah. But they are quite big changes to how the courts yeah. are operating in some cases. Mm -hmm. And I think certainly uh, kind of the, how you think about what a court yeah. is trying to do, they're yeah. certainly very big changes. And so, but how does it work in practice? Is it just about changing the mindset of the judge or something? No, well, well it's what it should be about. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It should be about making, uh, minimizing the damage. So enabling the yeah. victim to feel a bit more empowered. Uh, to be participate in the in the procedure, yeah. particularly criminal procedures, yeah. to be very marginalised, um, to make them feel that many victims get a lot of benefit from explaining their story, yeah. having it look heard in kind of a yeah. formal setting, from being able to tell the offender how it affected them, yeah. what went wrong, to hear an apology if the offender yeah. wants to give that is very yeah, uh, that's very uh, important. It, it yeah. helps people a lot. So these things are all helping somehow. But they're really not solving, you know, certainly in the criminal sense, they're no. not, there's, there's no punishment, whatever, it's not in time, they might be used to, you know, offenders maybe have an incentive to go into them because uh, judges certainly look positively on yeah. taking yeah. part in that kind of a thing as a, a sign of uh, redemption. And something Although like the charge would still stand. But the charge yeah. would still stand, yeah. but you would then... Yeah. Yeah. You know, it might have a lesser... Exactly, the punishment. Yeah. I suspect yeah. if you look across the yeah, stats, English. they probably have lesser sentences. And, and, yeah. and so, yeah. and arguably, I would say, yeah, you know, and as long as we're, it's doing good, and the victim feels better, then it's... Yeah, and the victim good. feels better also to know what has happened, eh? mm -hmm. that, the transfer, that, that the offender can be transparent about what has happened. Yeah. That is, I think, very important for the victim. Yeah, what ha what has happened, ha has he learned? Will uh, will will prevent that someone else will uh, yeah. Mm. And yeah, there's a lot of yeah. debate as to whether yeah. it actually okay. reduces offending yeah. in the future or yeah. not. And nobody really, is, I don't think, there's been any comprehensive no. <laughs> research put, pointing one way or the other. But that's what the restorative justice lobby likes to say is that it reduces offending as well by offenders. They're not big on empirical evidence. But exactly, they're not huge on empirical yeah. evidence, so it's pretty difficult to say whether that's true or not. Well, a bit related to that, and maybe another thing that uh, deserves to be mentioned there is uh, modern manifestations of traditional ADRs. Yeah. Which I don't know how many examples of this you have. I have only one at the moment, which is in Rwanda. But uh, it's very interesting. And whenever I have a chance to discuss this also yeah. outside of Rwanda, but in, in comparable countries, they were trying to think of, okay, can we do what something? What is this, the Kachacha? Or so the Kachacha is the famous uh, example, yeah. but uh, a far less famous much, and, and much, not... Much disliked by the human rights people. True, Feel true, but yeah, rights, and, and then yeah. You, there's yeah. a lot to be said about the approach of the human rights people as well, but you know, it, yeah. it, it's a big, heavy well, discussion. I watched the clash in Kigali. Right, right. I mean, the there is a clash, right, but again, you know, I mean, I don't want here the to, to be as the defender of the yeah. Kachacha, but yeah. on the whole, I think that they were, they as in, they yeah. were, these were much more practical about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot to be said for it because people buy into it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, uh, th there's the other example that people are far less uh, familiar with is the Abunzi, mm -hmm. which is, yeah. you know that Yeah, well? but that's, yeah. that's also been very that's much criticized. Yeah. It's a typical hybrid court. It's got all of the formality yeah. and slowness of the regular system and all the biases of the traditional one. Um, um, that's not what I've heard. Yeah, we well, uh, ought to talk to Marco, uh, what's his name, Lung Lundgren? Uh, yeah. yeah, he did a study on it. Yeah. How do, uh, do you know how those, yeah. those Abutsi uh, courts work? I know a little bit about it. So basically yeah. this yeah. is a, a traditional form of uh, community level justice. Mm. So think elderly or something yeah. like that. Uh, volunteers, so it's entirely based on yeah. uh, people who volunteer to do that. They get yeah. no uh, compensation. Um, and what Rwanda did about this, and that's why I call it the modern manifestation, yeah. is that they made it a condition for appearing before the state's court oh, that you okay. first yeah. go through the Abunzi committee. Yeah. So you take your case over there, which is really on the wow. lowest level, like a village or maybe district or something like yeah. this, and you have to start there. 
And over there, the, the approach is much more restorative justice. It's yeah. far less about that. That's I'll why I said that's what I because he okay. doesn't think that at all. And that's about the only thing I've read on the board. I have to be very honest. I haven't yeah. s studied that at all. I was yeah. just yeah. talking to people in Brussels. That I've quite mentioned, yeah. but I've also seen similar efforts in uh, Cambodia and Egypt. Right, so it's but not just that. Particularly religious courts are very yeah. powerful. They're very strong yeah. institutions. Right. And consequently, they get a lot of subscription. Yeah. That's where people go, ultimately. But, yeah, but a lot of um, these courts are really not ADR. I mean, everyone mm. has the idea that well, traditional there's, there's dispute resolution is negotiation. No, no, usually, they're not, the, they're usually so you can tell your story before the big man, and the big yeah. man decides. And right. yeah, yeah. Right. there is a lot of uh, arbitration. Right. Right. Which yeah. alternative to court, yeah. but it's, it's not. It's, it's, not a, it's not a zero sum game, but. But the, what I've seen that is a bit less radical than yeah. the Abunzi technique of, of saying, you know, you have to go here is an increasing uh, trend towards um, uh, legitimizing some of these by virtue yeah. of saying that they are part of our formal system. And it's a kind of a two-way street. It means obviously yeah. that some of these practices do bleed into the formal structures, mm. but equally then you do get, the, the state gets a certain amount of legitimacy to put rules upon them which they previously had absolutely no legitimacy. Yeah. Right. Um, and so that they're not necessarily mandatory. For instance, in yeah. Egypt they're passing uh, laws about um, yeah, basically fair food lawyers or community lawyers yeah, and yeah. saying that they, they can become, they can represent cases, if you like, and they, yeah. can, they can do a certain amount of very traditional legal work. Mm. Um, but they're not mandatory. So but, that, but, but that's not ADR. No, that's just uh, using uh, a No, but, uh, but then they, they are usually carrying out uh, yeah. mediation. They're not yeah. carrying yeah. out uh, arbitration. And they we, usually we always say you have to seduce people to uh, go to ADR. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, if you've got a traditional system already, I've heard a lot of people say, like in Africa, mm -hmm. why would you go to ADR? You either go to the courts or you go to the traditional stuff. Yeah. But yeah. ADR is sort of... ADR is something yeah. a little bit... They, yeah. I, in my experience, they tend to be, the, the, the populations tend to be very split. Yeah. Yeah. And half of the people entirely dis, uh, throw out traditional yeah. methods. Yeah. They say, no, they're wrong, they're old, yeah. they're... Yeah. They don't subscribe to human rights, they don't subscribe yeah. to the no. law, there's no yeah. structure, they're not strict, you know, they're, yeah. they're not rigorous enough for yeah. us. And the other half say, no, this is what yeah. our social norm, yeah. our beliefs, our culture, yeah. this yeah. is what we should be doing, and they throw out the formal structures, incorporate, yeah. um, yeah. uh, inflexible, corrupt, yeah. and so on. Or maybe and so it's an attempt, I think, to try and mix the two and allow the people who want their social norms respected yeah. to have that. Yeah. Yeah. Recognized in a formal way as well, so that a, a, a divorce. I mean, the, yeah, I mean, most countries have now accepted that basically a divorce is up to the two people, and whatever they decide, yeah. the state merely endorses. Yeah. Um, and that's they should be allowed to do that. Yeah. Uh, through their whatever social mechanisms they decide, uh, but equally then there I'm is not sure that's how it works with Sharia. You just um, get to say I divorce you three times and you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those courts are there, and, and I know uh, people who worked with trying to build some kind of interface in Egypt, mm. them, which probably has disappeared now after the oh, sorry, yeah. Egyptian Spring, or whatever it's yeah. called. Uh, yeah. But a lot of these 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 hybrid courts, I mean, if you read the stuff that, that the World Bank has sponsored in the Pacific Island countries, if you look at the, uh, what are they called, social courts in, in Ethiopia, and I think the Abunzi as well. I mean, most of the stuff I've read has said that they're not, they're probably the least trusted. Yeah. I think that there is. Yeah. The, paralegals are another. Are another yes, story. paralegals are, are quite story. different. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. The, the, I think I find the, the, the elder systems, if you like, the, the, yeah. the traditional yeah. uh, community based. No, but like, this is not uh, community based. It's the in between. For example, in the social courts, and I think this also happened with a lot of the local courts in, in the Pacific Island countries, you didn't end up with local notables on them because they were women. And, and so the requirement, like yeah, the yeah. requirement was that they be literate. And then there was a lovely one in Ethiopia where the government decided that it was going to, to professionalize the Afar courts, or no, the Somali courts. And so they brought all the elders into the city and gave them offices, at which point they became known as the government's elders. Yeah, and, and, and I can see that coming along. There are some other ones out there. That, I mean, yeah, yeah that's yeah. Yeah. just not sound like a great model. Yeah. Um, and the ones I've seen, it tends to be the case that, yeah, they're not entirely trusted 100%, but 
they are trusted a lot more performance well, which structures, one is where? which are, well, yeah. for instance, in Cambodia, everybody yeah. goes immediately to their village elder. Well, no, but the village yeah. elder, that's one thing. That, I mean, that's but customary this where, justice. But this is where they're yeah. trying to link in these systems yeah. into the formal systems. Yeah. You know, this is basically our lowest level of But not necessarily with resolution. something intermediate, which is what I'm talking about as a high No, level. that's right. That, yeah. But they, they yeah. give them certain, you know, they have to, um, they have to, Fulfill certain requirements. And well, hell, for years the Cambodian judges were school teachers. So, I mean, when but, I went to Cambodia, there wasn't a lawyer among them. No, there, so, there are very uh, few lawyers, and they don't like lawyers. They're a very well, non-litigious society. Well, 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 now the judges are lawyers, but since they paid six thousand or ten thousand dollars to get their position, they're also terribly corrupt. Exactly. Uh, this is yeah. the, the reason people go there because uh, the formal system is a lot worse. I'm not talking about the formal systems and the lawyers and the, yeah. and, and the, the courts. Yeah. Maybe it's a question. Uh, uh, don't don't we have an over uh, over um, an, Expectation of the law and uh, yeah. uh, 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 based on the law yeah. and the norms. Mm. And maybe, uh, yeah, there, some people have uh, problems that, that won't be uh, resolved by, yeah. Yeah. Uh, by law. That's the question, I think. And then, then you have to. Well, you've got, I mean, you've got two situations, and this is why I always keep yelling what countries are you talking about. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about. Less developed countries, which have a traditional justice system, yeah. and so there's a choice between that and the formal law. Yeah. And in many countries, 80, 90 percent of the population, either by choice or by default, ends yeah. up in the yeah. traditional system. And when you're talking about developed countries, you don't have that choice. Yeah. And so then ADR becomes the new option, and the question is how to yeah. put that in. Um, and and you know, and I'm not sure ADR is a solution for the first group. No, because they've already got an option. Uh, but for a country like the Netherlands, the United States, the Global War, mm -hmm. uh, it is it, it is interesting. Although I think what you said about Israel is probably true. I mean, I know in the United States there was a big surge, okay. and now you don't hear that much about. So I don't know whether it's become so normal that no one talks about yeah, it, or yeah. whether, or whether it really has become, you know, less of the of the silver bullet than everyone thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wish I knew more what's going on there right now because it's yeah. not uh, yeah. what's up to date. But I, I really remember that it was also the student that, that when I was yeah. in the department there was like the, the big uh, hype about that. Yeah. yeah. And then already when I was doing my uh, first years in, in the law firm, I. Already sensed a difference that yeah. at least for the side of the law firms, it really they, they really look down. Uh -huh. like whenever also a judge would uh, yeah. offer a sort of mediation, they would say, okay, okay, let's do that so we yeah. don't uh, create any sort of uh, negative uh, information yeah. at that judge's mind. Let's go there, but that's not how we are solving this case. That's not uh, yeah. what we're doing. So don't you fear that uh, there uh, will be become more uh, an ADR uh, officer uh, now? Uh, 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 I mean, no, uh, diminish this authority in the future because uh, I, it's, uh, this authority is not uh, based on problem yeah. solving. I don't know. I mean, a problem in developing countries that use ADR is people don't often don't understand that they've got that once they agree, they've got yeah. to go. Go yeah. forward with it. Yeah. Uh, the level of, I, I mean, I've read interviews with people in the Brazilian courts, which use a lot of ADR, yeah. and I came, I came up here in the small claims courts, and they'd say, well, but I can't pay because they don't have any money. You know, they've already signed the agreement. But it's just the notion that somehow this is not quite the same. And I just yeah. don't think. And, and that's one of the, I mean, the reports that come back from Colombia, the reports that come back from Mexico suggest that people do stick with the agreement. Yeah, but why? Because yeah. uh, there's a judge who is uh, no, because it's well sometimes like watching you or yeah. uh, well sometimes they're registered before a judge, but sometimes they're not. If they're done out in yeah. the countryside by by some person yeah. who's been trained in ADR, they just do it. Yeah, and and in the Mexican courts, if it's not judis judis judicial, <laughs> yeah. um, then the the agreement is not is not registered before. 
if okay. some if, if, yeah. some okay. if, if the charge is yeah. made and then and then they decide to agree that it has to be yeah. the normal so, agreement the normal yeah. judicial yeah. agreement yeah, yeah so I, I don't know I, can I mean yeah. I'm very skeptical yeah. for every but all the reports I see yeah. say ninety percent eighty percent compliance rate yeah well, that well, wasn't the case of those are just their own solution yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I imagine it's more so just kind of the sense of honor of following yeah. through with what you yeah. agree to yeah. is what most people are. Yeah. are well, it may be that if you're working with very humble people, even the mediator seems like the judge. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean, maybe that's yeah. part of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting question. Is um is like the is the idea or the use of all these mediators kind of elevating or unofficially elevating their status? Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. people are are being afraid of them and starting to feel they're more and more like judges. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, is this a problem that uh, we're going to look at in the future? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 What, what makes as a neutral has a becoming uh, gets status, gets authority. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what makes, well, which aspects makes that, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, 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 it's specialized. There are two aspects of authority that we're talking about. Yeah. Positive one. Yeah. One that they're Yeah. 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 That the negative yeah. one, when he talks about yeah. being the people, yeah. 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 that's not yeah. what the mediator wants to be, right? Yeah. 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 Well, that's like when my boss mediated. Yeah, right. Exactly. We, no. we both wanted. agree that no. the next day the no. secretary did not quit. No, that's uh, yeah. right. yeah. <laughs> difficult to. Uh, yeah. 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 And then, but maybe that problem is that we mentioned earlier the idea of having can the same judge be both mediator yeah. and judge? Yeah. yeah. And then perhaps if you have these separate roles, I mean, to each individual who turns up, yeah. judge is a judge. Yeah. That's fine. The, the other thing I wonder is, yeah. you know, how much time does this take for the judge? I mean, but mm -hmm. yeah. example, this goes to question. Yeah. But I keep wondering, because of the mediation I'm familiar with, sometimes it takes a good deal of time. Now, yeah. There, was, yeah. there was the Malaysian judge who said she did Two dozen mediations a day. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, oh, it's such a yeah. 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 That is quite efficient. Yeah. 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 To Dutch judges who talk yeah. about wanting it because they feel that the law isn't offering a good solution. Yeah. I keep thinking, well, gee, how long is it going to take you to do this? I think it's a valid concern yeah. because one of the big things about ADR is always regarded as it's cheaper. So I think it's yeah. cheaper because it yeah. has a mediator who may possibly be a judge yeah. Yeah. and yeah. know all this support staff it's the and, false idea. Yeah. and everything else. Yeah. That yeah. Costs. It's the false idea. Yeah. And so then are you actually going to inflate your costs massively yeah. by having yeah. it held in the court? The, the other thing, because I, and I think this is kind of, I, I know this gets into the sort of things that are being discussed here, but we haven't hit it yet. I mean, talking about additional professionals who assist in drug courts and in family courts. Now, that's not ADR. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, we, we yeah. tried to, we, yeah. to gonna, we yeah. tried to roll yeah. that in a little bit with ADR. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I don't think you should. Yeah. No? No, I mean, they, uh, no. Yeah. 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 yeah, I agree. All right, what, um, well, what we, we have been calling to this enforce, the, the problem is what the, the judges now say, that if one lawyer, one of the both, is a very uh, yeah. uh, fight, uh, fighter, mm -hmm. then, then, then every system to, to try to uh, solve the problem or to send them by to ADR uh, procedure, it's very difficult. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, uh, is there a way around that? I mean, yeah, short of the judges, I don't let the lawyers in, but yeah. you can't do yeah. that here. Yeah. yeah. But that's, yeah, I mean, people, I, I think the New York website was right. You need to be informed. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't pushing it no. at but it just said, you no. know, we do not advise you to go into an online divorce no. without legal counsel. Uh, it, it doesn't mean necessarily the lawyer will represent you, but you ought to know what's going on. What's going on. What's going on. on. But, um, but that is part of it. Yeah. And, and, and what you say about uh, is that mediation is not any more cheaper, uh, yeah. but in, it, it, it is cheaper when you uh, reach a final decision, a final um, a solution of your problem. Because we in Holland, if we have really uh, uh, fight, uh, divorce, yeah. or fighting, yeah. then it can take uh, 
few years, uh, several uh, procedures uh, and uh, with lawyers, yeah. and then it costs a lot of money, and if you can de-escalate it yeah. uh, in the beginning. But well, some mediation, of those, yeah. Then, some of those yeah. hard ones probably aren't going to make it through mediation. Right? Yeah, escalation yeah. costs money. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the lawyers escalate. Yeah, yeah. That we know. Yeah. But, um, although good lawyers shouldn't. No. But, but if it's a really difficult divorce, I don't know whether mediation is going to be No, yeah, I think no, there are always be cases which yeah. will end up in court. But I think it's also it's interesting. What we were saying about uh, ADR being used perhaps less, or mediation being less prominent anyway. No. And it, but I was trying to think, like, the one area where I know they use ADR all the time, yeah, interesting enough, is business. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the people who really care about how yeah. much it costs. They use yeah. ADR. Yeah, yeah. just for the really best example, this is just cheaper, yeah. Well, the yeah. other reason they use it is because it's a problem. And this yeah. is a problem. And it's a problem with ADR. It's yeah. people worry about the disappearing trial because no one knows what was decided. And I heard an international arbitrator once yeah. say, I can't say anything here because I've sworn to secrecy, but don't think it's us. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of spoiled yeah. videos on there, too. And of course, of course, the other place where it's really hard is in the US. Is in the credit card disputes. Uh, okay. Yeah, if you read the fine print on your credit card, maybe even elsewhere, yeah, know, it says something. that you will not go to court. You will submit yourself to oh, court. Yeah. And it's incredibly yeah. abusive. You've got rent yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's yeah. for reason. Yeah. Yeah. But then the other reason of business uh, mediation is that you you keep owner of your own dispute and your solution. Yeah. That's what, yeah, uh, so this yeah. is the, again business. relatively yeah. a positive yeah. thing yeah. for, yeah. That's for many people. To, uh, yeah. Yeah. And if you're in a divorce, yeah. 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 Well, and businesses also don't want to set precedent for countries that have clients. Yeah. They keep it secret, pay off the person, and hope that no one else decides. Yeah, to well, I was thinking more of business to business disputes. Oh, business where, to business. You know, yeah. 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 Contract disputes, things like yeah. that. They're almost always doing mediation. Yeah. 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 How, uh, yeah. how do y'all think uh, we can avoid? Uh, Corrupt, uh, corruption uh, kind of running rampant in, in these uh, in the, these types of disputes where, where everything is private and there's no transparency at all. Um, do you think that's even possible? Well, I uh, think, we yeah. That kind of corruption? I mean, the guy was talking about the really big amounts. I mean, yeah. 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 yeah, I think yeah. big business, that's yeah. probably okay yeah. looking yeah. after yeah. interests. I, I think but, yeah, in, in this, it's, it's more likely that you're going to run into problems with mediators who don't know what they're doing, mm -hmm. yeah. with lawyers who are pushing to make the thing more. Yeah. They also can yeah. choose to ne negotiate. Uh, yeah. 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 I think uh, probably a lot of it comes down, I would think, comes down to being to informed people, like clients, not the, necessarily the lawyers, but actually knowing that there are you know, basic yeah. rights that they have, oh, basic yeah. capacities, the basic yeah. things that have to happen, for instance, in a divorce. Theoretically, in the mediation, yeah. you can get to a point where you felt like you had to give up all your contact rights yeah. because that seemed yeah. like you know yeah, you yeah, yeah, negotiated yeah. into a corner, yeah. and you have legal enforceable rights about contact with your yeah. child, yeah. no matter what you do, you know. And so, information like that is really important, yeah. and on, that's why one of the advantages I think actually of ODR is that you have a really clear portal where people can go and a really good opportunity to tell people what their rights and yeah. obligations yeah. are. Yeah. Which face to face you can yeah. you know you can forget yeah. stuff, you can have yeah. bad mediators, yeah. you can have people who are not listening, whereas you can constantly refer back yeah. to that this is just one of the advantages I think of yeah. ODR. Do you, do you see um, ODR being uh, used increasingly in courts? Um, like have you seen and do you foresee uh, that? Uh, I haven't seen it. I think well, I mean with the increase in online courts, I suppose technically it's all ODR. <laughs> um, but uh, O A D R. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. In courts, I mean, I suppose I, I think again, I can see it being integrated into court procedures. I can see yeah. it very easily yeah. being like these first hearings, these uh, and initial rounds. Where, 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 where did you see it? Well, I, I, no, I, I haven't seen it. I, I can oh. imagine. I, oh, I can you can see imagine. It very okay. Easily. Yeah, oh, you can see it. I, I am, yeah, yeah, okay. into, into the way towards yeah. work. Yeah. Like in the gr initial hearing, grounds hearings, yeah. um, you know, when you're just establishing the basics of the case, all these things that used to be done, yeah, face to face, and now increasingly done by post or by email submission or whatever. And then, yeah, so they're becoming increasingly online. And I don't see any reason why that 
would have continued. Yeah. And I think also then why there shouldn't be an OADR portal kind of linked in there. I don't see, yeah. you know, that, that yeah. seems to make sense to me. If you're giving people the option of ADR to begin with in your core yeah. procedures and you're trying to put them all online, then yeah. Uh, do, you, do you see any? Oh, I'm sorry. But... Uh, I've read in a report of the Scotland uh, initiative uh, that uh, the, the small claim courts mm -hmm. uh, did uh, uh, phone mediation, but not OER, yeah. yeah. but yeah. Uh, in small claims, uh, the court staff yeah. or the judge uh, yeah. uh, uh, prefer to, to uh, yeah, mediation by phone, yeah. and yeah. it was very successful. Yeah. yeah, but what, what kind of are the types of cases? I think it is a chat with most, uh, yeah. It's yeah. A, um, small claims with 5,000 pounds. Yeah. yeah, so, but I mean, they didn't, they didn't do so many divorces. Yeah. It would be things probably like money or Yeah, money or yeah. 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 yeah, I guess, property damage. Yeah. I think it's a, a chat with the two, uh, two person. And yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Is it does it act? Uh, is it kind of there's a lot like a um, just a mediation session just uh, over a conference call? And so the mediator. So, who well, does a session by phone, so they, I think they, he has on at the phone the two uh, yeah. uh, parties, and then he does his mediation skills and questions and uh, yeah. try to settle uh, uh, by in, in that phone call, yeah. and it was successfully. Ah. Yeah, that, a few that, that, years ago, it was uh, uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, a report. It was in a pilot that was who had won uh, European uh, prize. Yeah. Yeah. From, uh, I don't know where this should be. Probably doing business. Yeah, it's always doing prices. Yeah. Yeah. That could easily just be yes. migrated yeah. to yeah. online. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. just yeah. change it to the board. I think it would be better if they just cut them off for the internet, just like the FTI. Because I don't think it does either doing business or the world. Yeah. 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 Well, what I think is important that there is a different by alternative dispute resolution outside of the court or the court's procedure and ADR mm -hmm. or alternatively uh, to the decision by the judge. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be a court uh, procedure that it is, uh, the, the ADR solution is alternatively to the decision uh, of the by the judge in the final yeah, decision. Yeah, that's quite clear yeah. that yeah. these are two different streams, yeah. they're not. Yeah. Yeah. And then that, that's the traditional the system should always be available. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 yeah. that, 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 yeah. that, 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 uh, always. But uh, what 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 the what the problem is also with my colleagues of in the judge policy makers or the, they all, they do also always divide ADR or the judiciary mm -hmm. also to to uh, ADR solution for the back uh, not yeah. the yeah. judiciary mm -hmm. and that's a, a pity because uh, if people don't go to ADR themselves. And they need yeah. to uh, the judge to has that uh, not a stick. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. Then the one person to get the other at the ADR table, he needs the judge. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and then it can help uh, even in that stage, of course. Then it's better that people uh, uh, in that stage also go to an ADR uh, procedure, yeah. a referral, mm -hmm. and that the the, the 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 decision of the judge is the final. Uh, Solution if, if it doesn't uh, settle. Okay. Yeah. But then it alternatively is within the court system or the judicial system. How do they, how do you understand or no? no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do, you, how, just, yeah. how do the lawyers who specialize in mediation feel about judges doing it? Yeah. 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 That's, 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 so different by uh, which judge do uh, in what way? Well, I'm just thinking about the fellow from last week who seemed very defensive about his ADR, and I'm wondering how he felt about judges doing it. Because yeah, he that, takes business away from him. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, that's always that's always said. That's yeah. what, what, what all my all, all my colleagues said. Uh, yeah, the lawyers will, uh, will keep their word. Well, it can be that there is a lobby of lawyers that uh, yeah. I can, I I don't. Yeah. That way. Yeah. yeah. No, I just wondering how the lawyers yeah. feel. About yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. To a certain extent, you need lawyer by because if it, if it, it, work, people yeah. get the lawyers. No, it's like uh, uh, that. There, uh, that the, uh, the the case is set, has to be settled by the judge. Yeah. Okay. And if, if the judge does it very well. Okay, but the lawyers anyway have to be there, so they're not losing out. No. Yeah. Yeah. But it would be. I guess it would just be the. 
our ADR yeah. professionals. Are yeah, I'm upset about that. But yeah. um, I mean, I just, if you go to a lawyer and you help people with that good solution and with the uh, with the uh, with the help of that good judge, I think uh, people want to go to you as a lawyer. It's a, a good first. Yeah. Point that, like, if you're in this uh, ADR happening in the courtroom and the judge yeah. is being a, a mediator, yeah. who are they mediating? I mean, are the, are the, are the, the parties, parties the themselves lawyers. being yeah. on the lawyers? Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. Not. if it's the yeah. lawyers, then There's a, good question, is a is that ADR and B yeah. is that yeah. actually going to change we, anything? We know the lawyers are yeah. yeah. the should be to a divorce in the Netherlands without a lawyer. But the judge could presumably. Yeah. If a if a judge talks in talks with the parties, the lawyers are okay. Uh, so, the lawyers, so then the lawyers are obviously working. Yeah. So there, yeah. there is a, a potential conflict yeah. there in terms of what yeah, the it's the 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 Yeah, yeah it's difficult for the lawyers. We have to think about uh, what uh, what's effectively yeah. the lawyers. Yeah. yeah. Well, they should study engineering. Yeah. I agree. But there are also examples. I think in England or everywhere there. The mediation or settlement is only with the lawyers and the parties. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sort, yeah that's, uh, especially in business cases, I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. Business cases are examples where uh, right. the parties will not uh, yeah. have the US, they have the lawyers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
acquiescence rate. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the great advantage of ADR and maybe the reasons why people find it more satisfactory as well is that it's not zero sum. And that's yeah. also why judges tend to prefer it. I mean, it's not you win, I oh, win. Oh, no, no, no. It's a win, win, win. Yeah. 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 That you can yeah. reach solutions that get a little bit yeah. to everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's a, uh, yeah. And that's, one on one is free. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, what's when it is a success, I think. Yeah. It's also yeah. one of the crucial advantages over more dogmatic law, basically. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. around basically has to come down to that because it's going to be like nice rules. And it takes a good advantage yeah. of you know the situational factor, yeah. the context, and but, yeah. People then it comes. Know. Then it comes also to the, the well the 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 book of Kofi uh, about leadership, the seven mm. habits of yeah. uh, leader, successful leadership. It is the same thing. Like, this is, uh, I think. Well, yeah. I wonder. I can imagine that some people might say that one of a problem with bringing ADR into courtrooms is yeah, basically a lack of predictability. Like people, it's one of the things that people like that really loves going on their phone system. Yeah. Uh, it's predictable. Oh, you know yeah, it's yeah. Yes, they exactly. think this is predictable. It's, it's and and ADR and is supposed to work better if you have some of that. And you have some of that in the background, and yeah. then the, the, everybody has to take advantage of situational factors. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and bluntly, personality yeah. factors. Like, is it, what happens is that you're, what, what you're likely to get out of a process yeah. may yeah. well be impacted quite heavily on not what has happened or the facts, but yeah. who your opposition is. Yeah. And that's supposedly one of the things the courts are supposed to avoid entirely. They don't do it, of course, but yeah. that's the theory. Yeah. And I can see that being one of the kind of uh, challenges that would have to be adequately addressed yeah. for it to be adopted in any way. Yeah. Well, um, and I think the other thing is just that you don't, no one else knows what the outcomes are. Yeah. That's, that may be yeah. a bigger problem than the predictability one, because I had my little moment, existential moment once when I said, but the lawyers are trying to make it predictable. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's uh, predictable. And I, I, in Holland, I think it is, they, we think that it is predictable, the outcome of the law, but this is yeah. yeah. not yeah. Well, no, predictable anyway. Yeah. 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 Every yeah. situation is still different. Yeah. And, uh, but at least with the formal law, you have a law that you can refer to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. 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 you need to have a specific set of criteria in ways that you should apply yeah. yeah. criteria. But if you don't know, you know, what's happening because divorce settlements will be private, oh, yeah. you don't know what's happening. I mean, you just yeah. that, that just made me think. I mean, I wonder, like, I, 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 yeah. I agree that and most yeah. ADR yeah. does agree yeah. that the procedure certainly is a private closed shop yeah. affair where nobody, nothing comes in, nothing comes out, yeah. basically. But there's no particular reason why certainly pared down facts of what has happened in Cases. Well, you know, business, business, more... is, yeah, business is never going to do it. Uh, no, but I mean, yeah. if we're talking about, like, you yeah. know, your general dispute with civil yeah. and Well, your, if we uh, had, if we had a little messy little divorce, but find the mediator who gets what, you get the dog, I get the cat. Do you really want people to know that? No, but if, it, <laughs> but this is what I mean. Like, a, I don't uh, think anyone else uh, really wants to know that. But you know, like, very general. But like, I don't see why you couldn't come up with some very rough kind of criteria about, you know. I don't know, some cost value split, some of the child yeah. share agreements, well, stuff like, like that, yeah. which allow, gives some people an idea of what well, uh, allows to let norming effects yeah. take place. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's yeah. what I'd like to see the Mexicans do, for example, when they yeah. say there's a lack of transparency. Uh, don't put the names out. I mean, the one that yeah, we have yeah. Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Smith. Yeah, yeah, but we can know that we mediated seven cases of key yeah, exactly. cars. And this is what was decided. Yeah, yeah. Precisely. yeah. And that yeah. is a really yeah. good yeah. indication yeah. in the future. I mean, again, it's, uh, it's and it also, it also could help the mediators themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. nice guidelines. Yeah. So maybe that's well, what yeah. we would do. Yeah. Then you have to avoid to come in a tunnel vision. And if yeah. there are things, well, uh, in any case, uh, yeah. people want this. So also, in this yeah. case, it should be uh, yeah. the same. It's, uh, no, yeah. It, it, yeah, I think it's yeah. something that can be you used to come and say, you have your yeah. own solution, great, and if we can come to something, yeah. fine, if we're at an impasse, and they're saying, yeah. no, you keep my car, you should go to prison for 12 yeah. years, yeah. and you're saying, no, yeah. I should give you 50 quid, yeah. and then yeah. you say, oh, okay, well, I should yeah. normally this happens. You know, yeah. then it's sort of a and the aspect right. that we didn't talk about, it's also very important, the quality of the, the nurse role, the mediator, or the ADR, that's, mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's a, yeah, yeah, how do you evaluate that? That's yeah, an that's interesting. Very really <laughs> interesting. Yeah. 
if, if we have discussions about the politics of mediator, it's yeah. almost um, it goes in the direction of uh, he should be a, a lawyer. Uh, no, not, not a lawyer. lawyer. Law. Yeah. And I will say no. He should be a knowledge about the psychologist, the yeah. uh, yeah. the. Well, you, well, you want to uh, know whether they're properly trained to do it, and you have yeah. to decide that. Yeah. And I can bet the lawyers are going to say, you've got to be a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. But I disagree with that, but I really do. But in addition, you want to know how well they did. And with yeah. a judge, yeah. you've got some way of doing that. I mean, because he has yeah. to publish an opinion, yeah. and she has to publish an yeah. opinion. Yeah. Indeed. And so, and so they, you know, it becomes important. There's pressure on the judge to make yeah. the right decision. Yeah. Well, now, on the mediator, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, yeah, I'll tell you why. I'm not convinced that that's a pressure on judges. I've talked to judges about this, and in yeah. addition, I know a case in Argentina where they published the results of, um, of uh, it wasn't malpractice, it was one of the torts, anyway, um, online, and because of a suspicion of corruption. And uh, lo and behold, the amounts began to become more standard. <laughs> so people do care. But again, that's uh, the you know, same that that we've already talked about that in terms of yeah. publishing what, you know, another video yeah. might get, but then that's the same. Well, if you know, if, yeah, if you know who the mediator was, see, then we don't want to put the party's name on it. We might want to put no, it on it. Yeah, if we're going well want to put the media on the yeah. court district, yeah. 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 it's sure yeah. it's some sort yeah. of a local idea. Yeah, but I think quality control and media is such a really good yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. But, but, very difficult but it's also very different because yeah. you don't want to do it exclusively yeah. on very common results. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. depending on who yeah. you come well, to you or, could, you could, I suppose you could ask parties. And you could ask parties for that yeah. satisfaction. Yeah. Parties yeah. Parties no, but it's interesting because I asked the, the German judge who worked with us in the end and in Romania, and all of the judges yeah. seem to be making wild decisions. Yeah. They don't care about yeah. uniformity of the law. This is what happens in Germany. Yeah. And he said, well, it's pure friendship. The other judges know this. Yeah. Oh, from other judges. Yeah. 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 Well, and in the U.S., it would also be from the from the ABA. Yeah. Uh, who would who would know this? And the paper yeah. would report. And in Romania, it's only uh, lawyers, huh? They, yeah. They, yeah. They, they don't dare uh, yeah. all of them lawyers. No, 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 no. But it but it was amazing because I mean, it's a judicial independence means I can decide whatever I damn well please. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and uh, you know, the German judge said, yeah, there's some judges, and you see this in opinions. There are always, particularly when you get a panel of judges, it's always the center. Yeah. The, the, the always in the always in the minority, uh, and they enjoy that. Yeah. But um, you know, as long as you don't end up forcing an unjust decision. Okay, so we now put you into the other world. Yeah, we got a whole different world then. Yeah. But um. Yeah, yeah, well, what I, I really like uh, where we're going with the quality of media, too. Because yeah, right. um, that, that seems to be probably the most important aspect yeah. to, to yeah. build a trust in the system. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Do you think there are any other uh, ways to get people to, to be more trusting in ADR so uh, they're, they're more willing to use it and less likely to go to these courts? Yeah, the problem is that uh, yeah. yeah. it takes two to say all. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Hmm. Well, you can make it free. That certainly has. Yeah, that, that has yeah. helped in places. Yeah. In places yeah. that's free. Responsory. Uh, yeah. So, are there um, like how do these uh, places or places where it's free? Yeah, they, they they were were free. Uh, yeah. Sorry? We, have, we have good initiatives in the, yeah. in the big uh, yeah. cities mm -hmm. with uh, um, free uh, uh, neighborhood. Okay. Mediation. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, we got the volunteers in the US. It's the mediators who yeah. can't find a job as yeah. a mediator yeah. and go for free to accept the proof. So then the yeah. quality yeah. aspect yeah. comes very more. Yeah. 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 And then and then you can't get yeah. a job. It's not yeah. then we have, you know, a steady stream of people going in and out and then we lose all this yeah. predictability. Well, but the other the other thing is I mean in, in some cases government can pay and has paid. Mm -hmm. The Argentine government can afford to pay, certainly the Dutch government should be able yeah. to. Yeah. Particularly if you could determine that it was somehow less expensive than, yeah. than doing this yeah. to the government. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah I would, uh, it would be in terms of reducing the amount yeah. of power in courts. Yeah. Be, you know, your clerks of court become less important when yeah. you're just doing mediation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, uh, perhaps the, the time that the judge has to spend after the decision is yeah. yeah. also probably considerably yeah. less. He doesn't have to write a big opinion, but well, make sure that it complies with all this, that, and the other. Yeah. And, yeah. 
you know, the, yeah. I imagine that can be significant savings, right? Yeah. And the problem is if you regulate the quality of the media, it will be going to do in uh, Holland. You know, then you can't uh, name yourself, you call yourself mediator if you're not, not our uh, certificate. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but if you're a good person who is a good, a neutral, yeah. good person who can solve the issue as well, then you call yourself um, yeah, neutral or um, yeah. solutioner or something. Well, well, I mean, you may be, people yeah. will trust you, you know, yeah, they come to you. Yeah, and I mean, I suppose you're, if you're an official mediator, maybe that, yeah. that that gives you the you know it's like a, a rotary a regular straight yeah. mediator yeah. yeah whereas if you're if you're just a volunteer then yeah. then we need that's to rely on yeah. people's willingness to comply yeah mm -hmm. and if you're a good a good volunteer and and, and, we, and you succeed in a lot of yeah. mediations then the uh, then judge will to refer to you yeah but then if we have regulated it they don't may uh, refer to that kind of. Uh, do, do you think a, like a like a maybe a multiple class of, uh, of mediators or ADR professionals would work? Yeah. Where you well, have certainly a, a high level yeah. of professionalism, yeah. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then maybe some. Volunteers. Yeah, but then it's just very expensive because then they have a good qualification. Yeah, and they, uh, yeah. The thing I see is that way more kind of integrated that we still seem to be talking about it like there is the, the court system and you know you have your very formal your judge who's making a decision and lawyers yeah. representing and so forth mm -hmm. and then how can we convince people to use ADR which is still this separate thing in a separate building in a separate room with separate people yeah. and the way I was kind of envisioning it with, with these kind of mediating judges if you like was that yeah that then it becomes less of a if it is the formal system as yeah. well. It yeah. is just because it's more effective. Yeah. And the judge knows yeah. has guidelines about when yeah. you know you have to yeah. just stop yeah. and say, okay, no, we have to apply some hard law here if you like. Yeah. Then it's not so much a the submission problem kind of goes away a little bit because yeah, yeah you yeah. are the, yeah. the the state authority. You, yeah. you are the the, no. the Yeah. Well I think the them. idea of the mediating judge but not having the mediating judge then be the deciding judge. Yeah, and then perhaps the, yeah, the judge tries his best and then goes, okay, now yeah. we're going to... And that's easy enough then to control the quality because the judge will probably be super... I mean, he's being evaluated, he or she's being evaluated anyway if he's no. in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so that would be okay. But then you've got the outside mediators and, and, and how... I, if the government pays for them, the government certainly can decide on qualifications, yeah. Yeah. on continuing Indeed. Yeah. legal That's education yeah. and all the rest of that stuff. But if you just got the neighborhood mediator, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I suppose they're probably not being paid. It's a word of mouth. No. Well, do you see, um, if, you, if, you, if we have this big trend of uh, mediating judges and, and judges just uh, throwing in ADR mechanisms into their Normal court procedures. Nah, when nah. I like the Costa Rican system better. It's yeah, well, well, no. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying desire here, but yeah. if that if if that happens, would it just eliminate this whole notion of uh, sending them off to private ADR? I think it would leave the pri private ADR as yeah, the, much as any as they are now in in yeah. terms of they are an option which people have to elect to choose. Yeah. I mean, two people yeah. want to go to it rather than go to court. Yeah. then that's entirely their option and as long yeah. as it's not a criminal matter they have yeah. entire freedom to do that right but but um, i mean um with with as all those mechanisms start rolling into courts mm -hmm. then um i, I can imagine there's going to be is, less of a market I, over here i, I would yeah. imagine there would be less of a market over there but then perhaps the increased prestige of it means that people want to do it more and they also like some you know because yeah. you would get luxury firms and you mm -hmm. would get budget firms and so yeah. on and so forth i'm sure so yeah. You get budget lawyers. Well, and, and also, I mean, you may that. not. The thing is, if you take it to court, the case is already filed. You may decide you want to do some ADR before. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And in, in which case, no, no record left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. You you eliminate some of the formalities. Uh, so I mean, I think there's a potential for a lot of options. A lot of it depends on who's how it's going to be paid for. Uh, and how much the courts want to do. Yeah, that's, yeah. 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 Do judges want to be mediators? Yeah. I mean, uh, some of them don't. Some of them, yeah, some yeah. of them do, yeah. some of yeah. them don't. Yeah. Yeah. And would, would there, do you think there would be a lot of backlash from the ones who don't? Or were they actively hostile towards uh, ADR mechanisms in their courtrooms? Well, I mean, yeah. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily be in their courtrooms. They could. That's, that's always a difficult thing, also yeah. in uh, any job here. That if 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 you see uh, think uh, that's good to 
Yeah. To mediate or good to settle or good to uh, do interactive uh, policy or something, yeah. then everybody has to do it. And that's a crazy thing because yeah. some people yeah, are good yeah. at it and the other are good yeah. at... Uh, well, they've got yeah, yeah. to be multiple traps, yeah. I think, and, yeah. and for judges as well. Yeah. Uh, 